Did Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson get robbed of an all-star start? The all-star starters were announced yesterday. The East starters caught my eye, in particular, the guard spot. Damian Lillard and Tyrese Halliburton were the selected starters. But did the fans, players, and media get it right? 5.2 left. No timeouts left for the Bucs. Here comes Dane. Three seconds. Dane pulls for the win. Please, if you can, like the video, follow and or subscribe to the channel and page. Thanks, it's appreciated. Right now, the fans account for 50% of the vote for starters. The other remaining 50% is split between the current players who get 25% and the media who get the other 25%. I actually don't have that big of a disagreement with Halliburton and Dane being the starters. I believe they both are deserving for different reasons, but all stars nonetheless. As a proud Cleveland Cavalier fan, I for sure thought Donovan should be in as a starter, of course. So I thought, what is a non-biased way to determine who should be the starters? For better or worse, the all-star starters are picked on two things, individual stats and the overall team success. What I would also consider is head-to-head -head matchups, meaning, so how do you perform when you face off against other top guards? So that's three categories, team success, head-to-head -head matchups and individual stats but then i thought of the three stats they probably should be ranked or weighted so i weighted them individual stats at 60 percent of the score after all this is an individual award team success counting games when that player plays of course you should not be an all-star if your team is the worst in the league you should be good enough to impact winning so that's 30 percent of the score and then lastly head-to-head -head matchups I believe it matters if when you play other good players and your success against them should be counted with a 10% weight. So looking at individual stats based on the stats that matter most for a guard, in my opinion, points, field goal percentage, three point percentage, free throw percentage, assist and assist to turnover ratio. Tyrese won the individual stats category. Please visit the website in the description for a detailed breakdown of the scoring. But team success went to Dane. He had a 31 and 10 record when he played. The Bucks would not be second in the East without Dane. Last but not least, head-to-head -head matchups. I graded this one the sixth stat from, from individual stat category, but also included record against. Meaning, what was your record when you faced off against the other top guard? Tyrese won this category as well by a hair, beating out Donovan Mitchell with a final tally of 3-0 to Donovan's 2-1 in their head-to-head. He beat Donovan by four categories to two. In his other head to heads, he won by a landslide, winning five or six of the statistical categories track. So when we tally up the rankings, we get a final score of Tyrese Halliburton, the clear number one with an 11.8 score. But where the fans and media and players got it wrong, there is actually not a snub after all. The fans, media, and players got it right. In the crucial head to head matchup between Jalen Brunson and Damian Lillard, Dame got the best which put him in second place for all-star starters. Jalen is third and Donovan was fourth. Had Donovan played more games, I think he would have fared better. He had the least games played of the four. Halliburton had one more game played, but he was so much better in every other stat that it really didn't matter. There's still a chance that both Jalen and Donovan get selected as a reserve, so not all hope is lost. Until next time, strategists, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe.